Good afternoon on rainy Sunday and welcome to, I was going to say, another weekly vlog. But here's the thing about weekly vlogs, right? I take clips all through, I generally try and film Monday to Friday, various clips throughout the week. And when I'm in the car, I film on my phone. And when I'm not in the car, I film on my camera. And then come the weekend, I have to take all the clips off, go all through my phone and find them and my camera and it all just feels like a bit of a big effort and takes a long time and I always think oh I'm gonna take them off on a daily basis and um, edit it together on a daily basis but with the best one in the world that simply doesn't happen because I'm too busy and it all feels like a big chore at the weekend so what I'm going to try and do I think for, just to try it out and see if it works any better for me sorry I'm just adjusting up my air conditioning um, is film maybe two or three days in a row out of each week and then upload it so it's not going to be on the same day all the time that all the what is that I'm trying to say I think all the perceived wisdom about YouTube tells you that you should upload on regular days each week and I just don't seem to be able to get to that spot and I'm not going to beat myself up about it there's nothing I can do I'm sure you guys don't mind if I don't upload on regular days um, it, it just doesn't work for me with my life at the moment perhaps I'll get to that one day but it's not working so yeah I'm thinking if I film for two or three days in a row um, then it's going to be easier to manage in terms of it not being so scattered and also it won't be so long every week as well so although I say that the amount I ramble you know it could be so that's sort of my plan which is why I am starting this on Sunday also because I am it's Sunday the 17th of I wanted to say July it's not the Sunday the 17th of July it's Sunday the 17th of June it's Father's Day and I am off to Bournemouth to see my father and my mother it's not I'm not going specifically because it is Father's Day although obviously it will be nice to see my dad on Father's Day um, I'm going because I have my mostly because I have my microblading eyebrow appointment top-up appointment tomorrow morning um, so I it's two o'clock just after and I'm on my way up to Bournemouth I should be there around half past four I should think um, I'm actually quite, it's been a very hectic weekend one way or the other, although I haven't left the house since Friday afternoon. But it's just been bogged down in sort of worky stuff and social media stuff and I've been trying to get a little bit ahead with filming videos. So I've filmed, edited, uploaded and done everything apart from the thumbnails for three videos. One of them was the Kitchen Gadgets one that I've just published. Um, the notifications went out for that at the wrong time so if you haven't seen that that is now available for your viewing pleasure i will link it in the description box below or perhaps i'll link it left hand right corner up there although on the phone camera it might be that corner because it reverses doesn't it uh, <laughs> i don't know yeah it's been a busy weekend busy hectic and just a lot of stuff going on so um I'm actually looking forward to a couple of hours in the car, listening to some music, a bit of downtime and a nice afternoon and evening with my parents. And uh, I'm also quite excited about going to a particular charity shop that I found last time I was down at my parents. And I'm hoping to fit in a flying visit to there because it was very, very good. I spent £140 in there last time I was in there. And although it wasn't, you know, it was a bit more expensive, the quality of the labels was fantastic. Absolutely, really, really good. Um, no Primark or Sainsbury's or anything like that in there. So yes, that's what's happening with me. I've got a new jumper on, you can't see much of it, but it's um, well, it came from Box 2, which is a plus size company online. They used to have a catalogue years ago, they've been around for years, and they do a very nice style of clothing, very much my sort of style, and this is like a really oversized boxy but fine knit jumper and it's stripes it's got black and gray and cream in it i'm really pleased with it i just missed out i have one on my basket identical that was blues that was lovely um and by the time i came to check out because i'd faffed about for about an hour 
deciding what to buy. Um, it had already been bought, it was the last one. It was in the sale. So that was really annoying, but I do like this one as well, although it would be more winter wear, I think. It's a bit of a miserable day today. It's raining and damp and just very unpleasant. Anyway, I have rambled for five and a half minutes, so I am going to stop at this point and I will come back to you maybe later, maybe tomorrow. Who knows? We shall see. Hi guys, it's now Monday afternoon. It's just um, before two and I am on my way home again. Um, had my eyebrows done this morning. They're looking very dark at the moment. They will lighten up, obviously. Um, it hurt so much, I cannot tell you. It, it literally brought tears to my eyes. I thought at one point I was going to have to ask her to stop. It was hurting so much. I don't know why. Apparently some people say it's more tender the second time because you're tattooing over um, tender tissue where it's already... Um, Sorry, a message just came up on the top of my screen. Um, yeah, because it's already been cut once, you know, and it's just, it's still in the healing process, I guess. Um, but, oh my God, it hurt. Last time I did take two paracetamol a couple of hours before I went, and I think that may have helped it hurt less, but it honestly was so painful, it brought tears to my eyes. However, I'm pleased I've had it done. I went through what I the problems that, as I saw them with her and she sort of agreed and went said it should go a little bit darker this time filled in the bits that hadn't taken so well so in about 10 days we shall see or two weeks I think I think it takes two to three weeks to settle down if it's the same as last time so yeah um so yeah I've just left my parents house I'm now on my way home I don't think I've got anything else to tell you. Oh yes I have, I went to see the shopping bags in the back. I went to the really good charity shop this morning. Honestly the staff are so nice in there. It's like a breath of fresh air shopping in there. They were so, um, oh just sold something on Etsy as well. <laughs> Another notification. Um, the staff are so nice in that shop. Um, they're just so grateful for the business and positive about it and I was buying a lot putting it I said is it all right if I put it down on the desk um, and they said yes and I was sort of going through all the rails obviously I was in there quite a long time it's quite a big shop and um, one of the ladies was bringing a rail of new stuff out from the back and she came over to me and tapped me on the shoulder and said um, I'm just about to put this onto the rails if you want to have a look through it first which was lovely and there was a brand new Joseph Ribkoff jacket for 10 quid on there so yeah such a nice place I'm so sorry that I don't live here because I feel like it would be a great place to or a great situation to sort of make friends and um, get get in there and perhaps you know be able to see stuff or I don't know but it just, just feels like there's a bit of a business opportunity there which I can't take advantage of because um uh, I live far away and I only get there maybe once a month but yeah it's definitely my favourite shop down here anyway <coughs> so I'm on my way home not many plans for the rest of today but depending on I had the most horrendous journey down here yesterday it took me three hours it should take about two just a bit under two on a good day it took me three hours the traffic was horrendous it was just sheer volume of traffic um so I'm hoping for a better journey, as I've left before too, I'm hoping that I will miss the sort of busy rush hour traffic and be home for around four o'clock, that would be nice. Ashley's got some frozen spag bol out of the freezer, or some spag bol out of the freezer for dinner tonight, so hopefully I don't have to cook. I need to do a Tesco order, perhaps I will do that tonight. I'm really hoping you're not going to slide off there. We're in the kitchen because, well, because it's the first time I've had a chance to pick up the camera today. It's six o'clock, quarter to six. I'm absolutely bloody knackered. I got up at, I think I woke up at six. I got up about quarter to seven and I literally haven't stopped since then. I had lunch at my desk. I watched Love Island while I did the ironing. And I am bloody knackered, and here comes my lovely son Often. to empty the bin for me. These ones? All of them, please. 
all for I hate recycling work of the devil I really miss the days when everything went in one bin and we could just take it out I mean, I mean, so, yeah. no I like the concept of recycling but it just feels like hard work it seems like a really good idea when America and China are pumping thousands and <laughs> thousands of tons of CO2 into the uh, atmosphere every day. Yeah, I feel like our small contribution probably isn't offsetting the it's massive like 1%. one. Difference, yeah. Oh well, that's to start somewhere I guess. But yeah, everything just feels like a bit of an uphill struggle today. I, I, I just want more hours in the day. I just need more time. I don't know wh where the time goes. I make myself a list. I don't get to the end of it. Oh, I'm just feeling frustrated. I don't know. How's your day been anyway? Have you had good days? Let me move this. This is the ice machine out of my fridge that has broken. It hasn't actually broken. It still makes ice, but the ice is just freezing into one big solid lump inside the freezer. So... We've just given up with that. I actually bought a new mechanism for it last year. I think I've told you this before. Also, you probably don't care about my ice machine, do you? I wouldn't. And I'm now sitting, or standing, in the kitchen, thinking about washing up the pans from last night's dinner. This is how much of an epic fail my life is. It's six o'clock and I'm washing up the pans from last night's dinner. No pans, it was an ice bag bowl. It was an ice bag bowl, yes. And thinking about having to cook dinner tonight, and I just can't face it. I'm bloody knackered. I just want to go and sit on the sofa. Yeah? Yeah, what do you want? Well, where are the chicken? I can cook chicken. Really? Oh, isn't he lovely? What a lovely boy he is. I'm not sure he would actually kick chi cook chicken. And to be honest, the state of the kitchen after he cooked it would probably be a sight to behold. But bless him, isn't he lovely? Um, I think that was said for the sake of for the um, benefit of the camera. <laughs> Maybe not. God, that bin stinks. Bloody hell. Uh, this was an interesting segment, wasn't it? I need to think about going on holiday and I need a comfy pair of sandals. Comfy, sensible pair of sandals. Christ, I sound like someone's granny, don't I? But I've got my new trainers. But I really do, I've got, the sandals I wear at the moment, I've got a gold pair, just flat. Um, they're from New Look, and I just looked at the state of them. I think they're about seven years old, and they're so comfortable, but they're absolutely chewed up. So I'm going to have to get a new pair. And I also desperately need some new shorts, so I'm going to do some online shopping at some point when I've got some time. Um, I guess I'll add that to my list as well, but... I just want, I don't know how bad the light is, I just wanted to document how well my makeup has stayed on today. It's about quarter to ten, I think. And it's actually stayed on really well. Not my lipstick, but my eye makeup, I was thinking. It looks worse on camera, I think, than it does in real life. My eyebrows are very dark. They haven't gone scabby yet. That will be coming in the next couple of days. Not looking forward to that. Oh, it's, I said it's quarter to ten, didn't I? So, oh, I'm just working up the energy to take my makeup off and get into bed. Getting into bed in the evening is possibly my favourite moment of the day. I love the feeling of getting into bed and the day's done and getting my book out and just, oh, relaxing. So nice. Ashley and I went out for a walk after dinner. We went down to a local lake. It's about a 10 minutes drive away. And um, just had a walk around. It's only about a 15 minute walk around the lake. But it was lovely. It was really quiet and there were ducks. And it just felt nice to get out and get some fresh air and get moving a little bit. I so often go through the days without getting out of the house. Um, other than to the parcel shop. I'm just sending out these shoes. They are such beautiful shoes. They're Carvella. And um, they've still got a sticker on the bottom, I believe. They have been worn a little bit. But look at that. Hunt oh, focus. There we are. £140 when they were first. What was that? No, it's £140 when they were bought. Absolutely beautiful. They've sold on Best Offer for £12.50. I've had them for sale for almost two years. And of course, the platform thing isn't as popular as it once was. So, 
Beautiful colour, beautiful shoes, but yeah, £12.50. I can't even remember what I paid for them. I've got a feeling I might have paid a tenner for them. But hey-ho, live and learn. Good morning. I might have already filmed something this morning, but it's Thursday. I've woken up in quite a buoyant mood this morning. I had three quite nice sales overnight after a rubbishy few days, so that cheered me up. Um, I've just had taken delivery of two new bracelets that I ordered for myself. I'm eating muesli, sugar-free muesli. It's not very nice, and I've just got to the end of the packet, so I won't be buying that again. It tastes like bloody rabbit food, doesn't it? Honestly, there's no pleasure in eating muesli. Not, not for me, anyway, but... I'd much rather have a nice piece of hot buttered toast with Marmite, but hey, you know. Um, so yeah, I ordered two bracelets from the Kate Spade sale. And the intention was to try them on and see which one I liked best. I don't know if that's focusing very well. Um, but I really, really like the two of them together. I think they're so pretty. I love rose gold. I can't wait to wear it with a tan. I have a tan on holiday, I can't wait. Um, but look, they come in such nice packaging as well, don't they? The little pouches, which I keep them in. And then the boxes as well, which I'll probably sell on eBay, let's be honest. Um, but yeah, I, I think I'm going to end up keeping them both because I really, really like them. together. The look of them together as well. I think they're so pretty. Um, I can't remember exactly how much they were, but they were, I think it was like 70 quid for the two, I think, in the sale. I'll link them in the description box if they're still available, so you can go and see. Good morning, my lovelies. On Friday, it is the most glorious summer's day. It's about nine o'clock, just after nine o'clock, and I am on my way, treating myself to a little bit of sourcing today. I've worked really hard this week um, listing and I've done 25 drafts already this morning. I woke up at quarter past five for some reason, couldn't go back to sleep, probably because it was warm and uh, very light, of course. Longest day yesterday, wasn't it? Sorry, I'm very snuffly this morning, hay fever. It's been all right for a few days. It's back again with a vengeance. So if I'm sniffing, I apologize. Um, yeah, so I woke up really early. I watched last night's Love Island. God, there. Oh, I'm annoyed with myself for watching it at this stage, really, but I'm just completely sucked into it. It's just utter nonsense. It's really, really the poor, poor cousin of Big Brother. Honestly, absolute nonsense, but yes, watchable nonsense. I can't wait to watch it every day. <laughs> oh dear, which says an awful lot about me, doesn't it, really? But yeah. I Love Island decided I watched an episode of Love Island um, and then I went into the office and I drafted 25 items so I've just got to photograph those when I get home and upload the photos edit and upload the photos and that would be another 25 live I've been thinking about inventory and eBay and stuff this week and I kind of think I might like to have 2,000 items listed. I know I flip-flop on this regularly. Um, I don't know, I'm going to give it some more thought. I'm not going to make any decisions, but I certainly want to grow from where I am at the moment, which is 1,200, um, certainly to 1,500. I was up around 1,400 last year, and um, that just tailed off back down to about 1,100. And yeah anyway so i'm off out to do a little bit of sourcing i've got to parcels to drop off and i've got to do a post office um drop as well and then home for photos and listing and hopefully the afternoon off that would be very nice i'm um yeah fingers crossed the afternoon off that's what i'm planning anyway and so much for the very beginning of this vlog i said to you Oh, I'm just going to vlog for a couple of days and then do the video, um, edit it and upload it. So I've gone, what day did I start it? Sunday, wasn't it? And it's now Friday, so six days worth. I don't think I've filmed loads, but um, I think what I have filmed has been quite rambly. So I really must get that footage sorted out today so I can upload it over the weekend. Anyway, yes, I'm rambling again, so I'll stop and I'll catch you in a little
Well, good afternoon on Friday. It's just coming up to half past five, I think. It's been a glorious day. Should we go outside and talk? It's just lovely. I think we're going to sit outside on the balcony this evening. William has had his last exam today. I've probably told you this already. Um, he was feeling a bit rubbish this morning. I've probably told you that as well. I can't remember. Um, let me find somewhere to sit where I'm not going to into the shade. There we are. I can probably... Oh no, that's not good, is it? Hmm. I think we might have to go back in. I don't think we can get any decent light here. Oh well, we can sit here for a minute. For a minute. Um, yeah, Will had his last exam. He came home afterwards and then he's gone out now. He's feeling a little bit better. So he's gone out for a couple of hours. Just got the train to Torquay. Oh, I ended up having a really nice morning. My car overheated, which was inconvenient, but it seems to be sorted out. As soon as the water level goes just a tiny bit, just that much below the line on the water tank in my car, it um, seems to overheat. It's done it once before, and it only needs like half a litre of water to top it up, and then it's fine again. Bizarre, of course, the weather's hot as well, which probably doesn't help, but I digress. Yeah, I ended up, I did some um, charity shopping. I got some nice bits and pieces. Um, what were the highlights? I got brand new with Tags Bowden for, um, I might show you actually, I've probably got it here. Have I got it here? I will show you if I've got it. Yes, let me put this down for a minute and I will come back to you and show you a few bits of what I got. Right, so I got, I got lots of stuff, but these are just three of the highlights. I got this, I always call it rice because that's how you pronounce it in German, but um, a lot of people call it Reese. So I don't know, whichever. I paid 10 pounds for this and it's a size eight, but it's brand new with its tag. And look, it was 180 pounds, unbelievable. Um, and it's a little red skater dress. Um, Really pretty, don't know what I'll get for it, I haven't looked it up yet, but it's gotta be worth more than a tenner, hasn't it? And then I've got a new Tags Whistles top, which is a 16, really pretty like satiny top with sort of pleating detail along the bottom. And that was £4.50. It was originally £6.50 by the looks of it and um, has been reduced. And then I got Bowden. And this is an extra large, it's like a really long maxi length caftan. Like they used to wear in the 70s type of caftan, you know? Um, I sold a linen Bowden top in this blue and yellow print recently. But this is an extra large and it's new but without tags, this one. And it was a fiver, so I thought that um, had to be worth the punt. I think that's really pretty, I really like that print. So yeah. I got some other stuff as well that wasn't new with tags. And then I met up with Carrie, who was originally a YouTube viewer, is also a reseller, and it's now sort of a friend, really. And we had a coffee. We sat on the downs and looked out to sea, and it was just lovely. It's beautiful up there in this weather. Oh, hello, Ron. Ron's just arrived. Can you see him down there, just by the sofa, but below the telly? Ron! No, doesn't like me. I'm very hay fevery, so sorry if I'm um, looking a bit rough. Um, yeah, so that was good. And then I came home, I popped into town, I saw Ashley, I went and dropped my parcels off, I went to the post office, I went to a more charity shop, um, and then came home. By that time I was starving, because I hadn't had any breakfast, so I had a cheese and onion toasted sandwich and burnt my mouth. <laughs> and did some laundry and did my photos for my listings and all that good stuff and now it's Friday afternoon and I think that do we have any plans for the weekend meeting up with my friend on Sunday afternoon for a drink um, sort of late afternoon early evening who I've not seen for ages she used to be a school mum friend and uh, the boys aren't particularly friendly with each other anymore um, just drifted apart not any great drama or anything um but we keep in touch, which is nice. So it'd be nice to see her and catch up. And apart from that, I don't think we've got any plans at all. So I think my plan for the weekend might be to go through my wardrobe and sort my clothes. That really needs doing and really figure out what I need to um, find for going on holiday. I haven't been on 
a summer summer holiday you know like a beach summer holiday since last year so I feel like there may be gaps in my wardrobe but I've, I always at the end when I buy cheap summer clothes I tend to chuck them away at the end of the season not the end of the season but you know when you buy white linen trousers and things like that um they get grubby don't they and they go off white and if they're any cheap supermarkety stuff you don't mind getting rid of them and I've got a feeling that I got rid of quite a lot of stuff at the end of last year uh, or at the end of last holiday season and didn't replace it so I need to have a good sort through my wardrobe that's going to be my plan for the weekend I think I might do a few listings tomorrow and Sunday still got this thing inside my head where I want to um maybe get to 2,000 listings but I'll talk more about that I'm going to do a three-year reselling update I'm hopefully going to film that tomorrow so you'll see that sometime in the next week um three-year full-time reselling I should say um yes anyway I'm just rambling I've been doing so for four and a half minutes so I'm going to switch this off go outside sort the laundry out and um commence my lazy evening have a great weekend, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.